Hello, it's me, Daryl, Florida Catholic guy. Guess what? Boy's harness just came in today. Just uh, opened a package up a few minutes ago. I made the uh, adjustments to get it on him. And he's out for his first walk in quite a while. And so am I. <laughs> and we both need it. I think I mentioned one of my earlier, or one of my other videos that I'm back up around 300 pounds, which I'm not happy about. But, uh, not exercising and eating what I've been eating will do that and uh, hopefully I can start getting in shape I don't know what this crazy guy is doing hey crazy come on this way I guess I gotta be patient with him. He hasn't been out in a while, so probably needs to sniff around and stuff. <laughs> uh, so today we had some thunder and lightning, but didn't get any rain, which is unfortunate. Better chance of rain tomorrow. But, uh, I'm hoping so, because otherwise I'm going to have to turn my sprinklers on, and I really don't want to do that. Uh, come on, Chad. All right, go pee. I've been doing okay. I mean, I've done some videos since uh, my last walk, of course. But, uh, yeah, not a, not a bad night. A little warm, a little humid, but I saw the uh, temperature this afternoon get up to 97 on my home thermometer that I got. It was 97.5, and then when the thunderstorms came in, well, if you want to call it a thunderstorm with no rain, drop down to about 85, which is a little bit of relief, not bad. But uh, if we're looking for any real relief, uh, that won't come for another, I think they said three months. Let's see. August, yeah, around October, November is when we get our first cold fronts that come through. Oh, this is what we gotta go this way. <laughs> he knows where he's going, I don't. Quack, quack. Yeah. I guess the uh, ducks don't want to talk to me. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just about sunset now. Whew, tired. Don't know why, because I slept pretty late, but... Hopefully going to church tomorrow. Uh, I haven't been in a few weeks, so, uh... I need to get back, and I need to get back regularly, because 
me, I go for a week or two weeks and I fall back and get lazy again. And uh, it doesn't make me any different than any lukewarm. Come on. It doesn't make me any different than any lukewarm Catholics out there. And I don't want to be lukewarm. All right. Looks like, can I get by that? Probably not. No. Doing a little bit of construction here. Not sure what they're building. But, uh, building something anyway. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if the basketball court's open or not. I wouldn't think so because otherwise there'd be kids playing. Uh, but I see a ball and looks like a baseball hat on there. Somebody could have thrown it over the fence, I guess. But uh, yeah, he gets to play. Yeah, I'm, I can tell it's been a while since I've been for a walk because I'm uh, sweating and huffing and puffing. Ear shadow. Hey, shadow. Shadow. If you want some water, here it is. Oh well. Looks like he's not interested in water. He's looking for a spot to uh, do the two. He's got to do the deuce. <laughs> yep, there he goes. He's squatting. <laughs> What's he doing? Pooping? <laughs> for a while <sighs> yeah I can tell I'm out of shape I mean not that I was in that great a shape to begin with but I was getting to the point where I could at least walk without huffing and puffing and sweating like a pig but uh, that's what gaining weight will do gotta take it off it's easy to put it on but it's hard to take it off uh, my mom got some, well, it was only supposed to be one cake, but they ended up sending us two cakes, and, uh, she got, a, I think, three coffee cakes for, like, breakfast and stuff, and, uh, not the best stuff, uh, especially the cake, because they're not, they're not big as far as, uh, round but they're like seven layers so they're way more than what I need now I got skeeters buzzing around me that's nothing new Oh, 
looks like they haven't been emptying out the uh, dog poop bucket because it's overflowing. Which makes me want to leave his uh, stuff on the ground. Yeah, taking another two. Well, anyway, at least I'll be able to go out for walks now. And uh, the other thing I've been looking at, I've been contemplating attempting to write a book. I usually do the, uh, I think I mentioned before, the NaNoWriMo, which is the National Novel Writing Month. Uh, it's November. And basically what you do is for the whole month you sit down and write a novel. Uh, novel is considered 50,000 words. Obviously they can't be random words, they gotta make sense. It's gotta be a novel. <laughs> And I've done that a few times. Uh, I attempted last last November, but I got distracted and never ended up doing it. But this idea I have now for a book is, I don't know what form it's gonna take, uh, whether it's gonna be uh, like an actual book book or maybe more of a thesis type of thing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna delve into the problems in the church, problems with Vatican II, problems with all the changes that were made in the wake of Vatican II and uh, you know, give some facts, and of course give my opinion on certain things. Uh, you know, something along, along the lines of that. So we'll see how that goes. That's uh, nothing to do with NaNoWriMo. Uh, although that's coming up in three months, I suppose I could wait, but if anything I could, you know, start researching what I want to do, what topics I want to deal with, you know, start reading the actual documents of Vatican II, especially specific to what I want to write about, and, you know, get some research done on a topic, and uh, then begin writing, and whether it's closer to NaNoWriMo or whatever, whether I just want to do it, we'll see. I know there's already been some great books written about it, This is the patriotic harness here. It's got the stars on it, red, white, and red and white stars, and kind of a bluish purple colored uh, harness. So I like it. Now it looks like it might have somebody going to the basketball court. See if it's open. <laughs> I'm gonna see if they got any. No, he's walking down the street. Oh yeah. Oh, that's filthy. Oh yeah. I ain't gonna do that. I hate to say this, but there's all kinds of spiders and flies and everything else. And the other one down there isn't any different. I don't usually not pick up after him, but I'm not going to deal with that. If anybody says anything, I'm just going to tell them, hey, I don't think anybody will say anything because, like I said, people do it anyway. But, uh, that's just disgusting. You know, we pay, 
we pay our HOA fees for this plus you know stuff like the pool and basketball court and clubhouse and oh it stinks stinks even from here yeah like they said that's disgusting Yeah, Shadow, isn't it disgusting? Don't know what you're looking for in there, but that's all right. Let's go. That is disgusting. There's the pool. Closed now. Actually, I thought it was supposed to close at 7 o'clock, but I've seen people in here up to 8 o'clock, so they might have extended the hours for the pool. I don't, I haven't been in a pool since, I think it was, I think it was New Year's that I, either Christmas or New Year's or both. I think I did Christmas, I didn't do New Year's because Christmas was cold, but the water was cold. But New Year's, it was cold out, plus the water was cold. I mean, cold being relative, I mean, 60s, <laughs> not really cold for New Year's, I mean the normal high around here is, in the winter time is 70, so 60 is cold for us, but not cold like Maine, <laughs> so... <laughs> We, I said this before, we do get frost down here. We got a frost uh, last winter. I think it got down to like 28 or 29 degrees. And uh, that's when we, uh, the people down here in Florida ask, uh, ask everybody else in the country for thoughts and prayers because, uh, you know, a lot of us don't have, you know, winter clothes down here. So <laughs> we need thoughts and prayers whenever it gets down that cold. <laughs> now me, I was smart. I brought my winter coat down here. Plus a couple of uh, hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff so I'm prepared for the cooler days I I think most people down here especially well let's put it this way those of us that move from up north I think most of us brought at least one good winter coat with us and by winter coat I mean a coat that's good for you know, 30 degrees or so, because that's as cold as it usually gets. And, uh, the coldest high temperature is usually in the 50s, and usually we get, like, a day or two that's in the 50s, and it warms up closer to 70. So, a lot of people especially the natives down here, they like it. They like the days that it gets into the 50s and uh, lower 60s, because it's uh, kind of the only time to get a break from the heat. And I can understand that. I just like the warm, the warm to hot weather. That's why I moved down here. Well, I got out of uh, New England because uh, you get like a week or two, maybe, maybe in a good year, about a month of summertime weather. And uh, the rest of the time it's uh, cold and wet. 
and snowy and uh, you know don't get me wrong you get you know like you take months like September that can be a really good month September October you know it's uh, you know you're in the 70s during the day most of the time and you know cooler nights which make it good for sleeping because I'll admit I do like cooler weather for sleeping we don't get that around here well excuse me we do get it in the winter time we get uh, lows in the 50s occasionally 40s and uh, like I said sometimes I do get a frost so you know that's good for sleeping but uh, during the day I like the warm weather warm to hot you know a lot of people don't like humidity sometimes it does get really oppressive down here but I'd still rather deal with that than the uh, six months plus of snow and cold <laughs> not a big fan anyway I wanted to keep this a little shorter so I will say good night God bless you and maybe tomorrow I'll give you an update whether I made it to church or not I hope to because uh, yeah, I don't like not going and uh, you know it's I need to I need to get back I need to and now more than ever with everything that's going on in the country and everything we need to uh, go to God a lot more and uh, put the fate of this country in his hands and pray and uh, well might not be short because I wanted to mention this I just remembered uh, yesterday or the day before President Trump was made a statement where he said that you might not see me for a while because there's a lot of evil people bad people that are after me and uh, well, he said this when he was specifically talking about taking on the uh, drug companies and lowering the cost of uh, prescription medication <laughs> and basically what most people think he was talking about is that because he's going to lower the cost of medication the drug companies are going to put a hit out on him and that wouldn't surprise me at all in fact I'm surprised that they haven't attempted anything yet which you know I pray for him every night every day because uh you know, if they could get to him, they would. And uh, now he got this, uh, well, we always have had this pedophile ring, which uh, that's something I want to do another topic on another day. But uh, this uh, whole thing with. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell and uh, oh, I'm having a brain cramp. Uh, Epstein, yeah, the one that didn't kill himself. <laughs> uh, you know, Trump's the only one taking on this ring, and uh, he's going to get a lot of pushback from that. And uh, a lot of these Hollywood types are either in hiding, running scared. I haven't heard much from Bill Clinton since he was named. And uh, there's people out there that try to say, 
well, President Trump is involved too. Well, that's not what the paper from Ghislaine Maxwell said, because she was asked specifically about Trump, and she said specifically Trump was never at the island. She never saw him at the island. He, nobody ever saw him at the island, and he just wasn't there. Nobody heard his name being there or anything like that. You know, just because Trump knows these people doesn't mean he was best friends with them. He's the type of person that he'll take a picture and talk with anybody, good, bad, indifferent, and, uh, you know, doing the stuff that, you know, he did, does or did with the construction and everything else. He had to deal with politicians and important people of all walks of life, good, bad, and indifferent. I mean, talking about a guy that gave money to Democrats just so he could get his buildings built. And, uh, you know, when you're in a Democrat area like he is, New York, I think he's done Chicago and other areas, you got to play games with the Democrats or you don't get what you want. But anyway, I'll talk a lot more about this later on because I am home and I have to end this. So, thanks for watching. Oh, I want to see if you can see this. This is my hump flag. Come here, Shadow. Shadow. Silly dog. Just slipped his dual harness. He wanted to get home. But uh, hopefully, you can see this. That's my Trump uh, garden flag. But anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Good night, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.